This is Storm the Castle for the VEX VR Level 1. Uh, in this one, in your playground, you need to uh, upload the Castle Crasher. This one, you're going to want to be able to switch between the different views to see what you're actually trying to accomplish. Uh, the problem for this one is you're going to drive around the uh, castle and knock over all five buildings by driving the VR robot into them. So we're going to notice there's no walls on this one. You have a red line going throughout. So that's going to bring up a big hint that uh, we're going to need to make up our own function for this. So we're going to create a function called until red. Because we don't want our robot to drive off and fall into uh, empty space or no man's land. So we're going to create a function here that says define red and what we want to do with this is we're just going to say you know what we're going to keep driving forward until so i'm going to come to my control structure my down eye detects so my sensor my down eye detects red so you're going to see default is the front eye so i'm going to do my down eye the other thing, because we're trying to knock things over, we're going to want to increase our uh, drive speed on this one. So I'm going to set my drive speed at somewhere around 65, because again, 50 is default for the program. I don't want to go too quick so my sensor doesn't have time to read. Uh, and once at that, I want to turn my robot. And I can see is my first castle here is I'm going to turn to my heading of 90 degrees. Notice uh, we're going to turn my heading uh, to 90 degrees. We're not using turn angle to 90 degrees. We're going to turn our heading to 90 degrees. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drive forward. When are we going to drive forward? Until this function runs. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to come back to my uh, turn heading and I want to go and look. If I end up here, if I go 360 or zero, I'm going to end up uh, running off here and just running a box. So I'm going to guesstimate here. Let's say that'd be about 350 degrees or so that I want to turn my heading to. And I want to do that again until red running that function again. So I'm going to come here to my drive train again and go to turn uh, turn heading. And I'm going to duplicate this because we can see the pattern that's occurring. So I'm going to turn my heading in this case again. I'm going to estimate, and this might not work. We might have to run the program and see where we end up. Uh, but to 215 degrees on that, so I can come here and I'm coming down on an angle. I'm going to duplicate this so I just have it available. I'm going to bring in and duplicate this. So at this point, I'm thinking I'm going to be right about here. I want to come down. So that would be uh, a heading of zero degrees, I'm imagining. Again, we might be off a little bit, and this might involve a little bit of tweaking. And then I'm going to duplicate this block again. And I want to run this. So I'm going to duplicate one more. And I'm going to estimate, I want to say it should be about 270 degrees, might be a little less than that. And then I want to uh, duplicate my block again, my function. And I'll bring in my heading. And now again, I want to reach that center right here. So that would be roughly uh, 180 degrees. I would run this function one more time and then I would set my vehicle to stop driving. I'll do another video to see uh, if my angles actually worked out and what we might have to adjust in this program.